Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of your FS Matrix Navigators. Today, I would like to show you how to fill out the payroll deductions online calculator on the CRA website. This is a really handy tool if you're trying to figure out which deductions, taxes, CPP, EI that need to be deducted from your employee's payroll. So on the home page here, it just gives a few notes for you to read through gives you a couple updates, if you're having any issues, how to fix it, and then you click I accept to use the calculator. Once you are here, you will choose which type of calculation you are doing. So salary would be the most common, that's for your hourly workers. Um, commission, only if they have the form TD1X. Um, pension, and then verify CPP contributions and EI premiums. We're going to click salary and click next. From here, you don't have to put the employee's name. Um, it's just an option, but you do need to select these three here. So we're going to select Ontario. Let's say the pay frequency is bi-weekly. That's the most common. And the date the employee is paid. So let's say, it's today. This is 2023. We are the fifth month and it is the 26th day. Click next. From here, you will put what their gross income is. So let's say it's a thousand dollars. Did they receive any type of bonus? If yes, click one of these. If no, no bonus. And here you have the option of checking anything that applies. So taxable benefits and allowances provided to your employee. So this could be parking, cell phone use, internet use, etc. cetera. Um, any employer's contributions to the employee's RRSP. Any of the employee's contributions to RRSPs or RPPs. Um, any union dues. Annual deduction for living in a prescribed zone. This little question mark here, it'll give you a bit more details on what the prescribed zones are. Um, other deduction and non refundable tax credit amounts approved by a tax service office. Number of dependent children age 18 years or under, and or number of dependents with a mental or physical impairment. Alimony or maintenance payments. Uh, this is if your wages are being garnished by a court order. Any tax exemptions for Indigenous people, um, if employment income is situated on a reserve. And in 2023, the employer deducted QPP, so for Quebec, contributions before transferring employee to another province. In our case, we're going to not click any of them. Now, if you are a member of the clergy, you can select one of the following, housing benefit, housing allowance, just no selection. We're going to click no selection. Then you click next. From here, you can claim the employee's federal uh, and provincial or territorial form T1, um, or you can choose the employee's federal and provincial or territorial form T1 using claim codes. We're just going to select the top one. Now, this is the most common on the form. You can put it here. And then this is the total claim amount from employees provincial or territorial form TD1, right here. We're going to do the year-to-date amount for your CPP. So you can either choose the CPP maximum annual contribution has been reached. So this means they have already contributed as much as they can for the year or if they're exempt or their year-to-date. The number of pensionable months, 12. Now this is where you start to input your own information. So pensionable earnings year to date. Let's say there's been uh, 15,000 already earned. CPP contribu contributions deducted year to date. Let's say there's been $500. Now we move on to employment insurance or EI. Have they reached their maximum? Are they exempt? Or do you need to put a year to date amount? For 
their insurable earnings to date. We're going to say it's the same thing as their pensionable earnings, so 15000 And the deductions to date, let's say 200 So now we move on to the employer's EI premium rate. So this is what the employer pays on the employee's pay stub. It is their uh, payroll liability to the CRA. So in most cases, the employer pays 1.4 times what the employee pays. Now there could be an agreement uh, where there's a reduced rate between the employer and the employee, um, but in most cases it would just be the 1.4 times uh, that is the legal general amount. So we've inputted all of our information, we're going to click calculate. Here we have our pay frequency, the date, the province, and then the federal amount and the provincial amount. They earned $1,000, so total $1,000. Their pensionable earnings for the pay period and their insurable earnings would both be $1,000. The federal tax deduction, $4,540. Provincial tax deduction, $3,557. This line here tells you the total tax deductions, so these two add together. Then we have our CPP deductions right here, EI deductions. It tells you what your total deductions are, and this is your net amount. So this is the amount that your employee would actually get paid on their paycheck. It also gives you a couple year to date amounts. So for example, they had earned 15000 up to this point. Now with this $1,000, they've earned 16000 gross. CPP, they had paid 500 at this point. Now after contributing 5149 they have contributed 551 and so on, as you can see here. And this gives you a little uh, estimate, so based on the pensionable months entered, which would be 12, the employee and the employer CPP uh, contribution maximum for the year would be this amount. Now this is not to be used as a statement of earnings, this is simply as a educational tool for you to use for your calculations. Now let's say as an employer you would like to see what you need to contribute on this pay stub. So you can click employer remit summary. Once you are here, it tells you the employee contribution, the employer contribution. For CPP, it is the same amount. So this is what would be part of your payroll liability. Then it tells you your EI, employee, employer. As I mentioned before, employer pays 1.4 what? 1.4% of what the employee pays. So 1630 times 1 1.4 would be 2282. So now we have the total of EI contributions. Then there's the tax deductions. That would be federal and provincial tax deductions. So for this one pay stub, you as an employer would be required to remit this to the CRA. This would be your payroll. to print this. So let's go to previous. We would like to print this entire page. Down here, you can either review results in PDF or view combined results in PDF. Let's say combined so that we have the employee and the employer. It'll download here. You can open it up. This was the employee section, the year-to-date amounts, and the employer remit summary. Now you've finished this one, but you have two more employees. So at the bottom, you can simply say next calculation. By 
doing this, it keeps your selections here. So you don't need to input that again. You can just click next. And then you 